Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are brand new and you're just finding me, hi, welcome, my name's Olivia, and I'd love it if you wanted to hit the red subscribe button down below and join my channel. Or if you are a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. It's always so nice to see you. And by the way, guys, you can always find me over on Instagram. I'm at Olivia Frida Curves over there, and that's always listed in the description box down below as well. So. Thank you so much for being here today, guys, and uh, clicking on my video. I have a really fun um, outfit video to share with you. I have some really cute summer outfits. However, I really do think that they are also outfits that you can really transition into kind of like the autumn, fall weather, um, as long as it's not super cold and it's just still nice and warm. I think these are some really great um, outfits that really do lend themselves well to kind of like this end of the summer that we have coming our way. Um, super on trend pieces from brands like I have 2020 Ave to share with you. They were kind enough to send me a few items and I can't wait to share them with you. They have a really amazing curve line on their website. So if you are curvy or they have a great straight size section as well, but they are just a really cute online store and great affordable prices. And I think it's very hard sometimes when you're curvy to find items that are very size inclusive and also super cute and on trend. So really good option with them. The other um, store that I'm also going to be sharing with you in the video is a brand called Dynamite and I will double check on the shipping to see if they do ship to the US as well but they are a Canadian brand but they have such cute clothing and I really am excited to share them with you. I feel like I was kind of like sleeping on Dynamite a little bit and I went in recently and they have some really cute pieces so I'm excited to share them with you but yeah I can't wait to put all of these outfits together with you. I'm going to put them together with shoes as well just so you can see the complete little outfit pulled together but without further delay let's jump into this really affordable curvy outfit haul okay so first up we have a really fun outfit it's a little bit sexy a little bit sassy but i really fell in love with it this top is actually from 2020 avenue curve and i really love this one this is the plus size carmella top and it's this beautiful like kind of caramel color and then it's got these little floral um pattern all over it and they've got little pops of green so i don't know if you can see here like just stunning little pops of color which really kind of attracted me to this top and then it is a tie in the front so all i've done is tie it up in the front but also I have a really fun bra underneath so the bra is actually from Target and it's just like a lacy kind of um, like a balconette bra and it's got a deep V here which is a great I think it's a really nice statement piece to wear under a top where you kind of want the bra as well to peek through it's a little bit sassy like I said but I love it and then I'm also wearing these mom jeans and I get a lot of questions about these over on my Instagram these are one of my favorite pairs of jeans ever um, but they are from American Eagle and I'm wearing them in a size 10 and they're their curvy mom line. They're so comfortable. They fit really nicely. I will link them down below if I can find them. However, I was recently in American Eagle, got a little intel while I was in the dressing room. I heard that they are coming out with a whole new line, not I don't know, not a whole new line, but they have a whole new selection of mom jeans coming out soon. So that's what the girls, well, I overheard them. I was a little bit eavesdropping, um, but they were saying that there's a bunch of new mom jeans coming out very soon. So I am going to like be like a hawk on their website to keep an eye for them because I absolutely love the way their mom jeans fit and they definitely sell out super quickly. Anyways, these are in a size 10, I think I mentioned, and they're this beautiful kind of darker blue wash. And I think it goes with so, so much, so pretty. And then hopefully you can see the full outfit here. I haven't quite figured out from like a far distance how to set up the camera. I might need a mic soon. Um, but I paired this whole outfit with these shoes from Old Navy. They're these little nude sandal heels and they honestly work so well with so many different outfits. They are a very low block heel and I just think that they really finished off this whole look super well. So this is my first outfit that I want to share with you guys. Let's move on to the next one. I just wanted to start out by sharing the kind of full view and silhouette of this jumpsuit. It's absolutely stunning. This is another piece for 2020 Avenue Curve, and I love the way that this fits. It is slightly big on me, but 
you know I'm gonna make it work because it's so beautiful. It's a really like elegant kind of vibe to it um, just because it is a little bit oversized. I've really cinched in the waist, which I think really makes it. So it comes with a belt that is in the same black and white floral pattern. And I just love the whole vibe of this. It just feels effortless. I love the spaghetti straps on the top. I'm just wearing a strapless bra with this. I will link the one that I'm wearing down below. It's from a brand called Lively. I'm gonna do another updated bra video soon to show a few of their bras as well but um, it's a black lace dropless bra and it works amazing one of my new go-to's so I'm wearing that with this and I just think that this is such a pretty jumpsuit in that black and white print very very elegant like I think it's just gonna be one of those ones that I can wear year after year and it's a culotte kind of style wide leg pant jumpsuit which also almost looks like a dress so from afar they kind of like I don't know kind of blend together and the whole outfit just seems so flowy and really pretty so i absolutely love the whole vibe of this little jumpsuit and i've worn this a number of times already just because it's super easy to um to throw on and just kind of run around in again i've just paired it with a little pair i don't know if you guys can see I just paired it with a little pair of um, black strappy block heels, which I actually picked up from Marshalls, and they are kind of a lower heel. I tend to go with that a little bit because I'm five nine and a half, but I think that the whole outfit is beautiful, and I wouldn't change a thing. I love it. So I was so excited to share this one with you. But let's move on to the next one. So this next outfit I was so excited to share with you guys. This romper is from Dynamite. I'm wearing it in a size large. I think it fits really, really well. And I think you saw from the, um, the first little section, I am pairing it with those same Old Navy heels. I just think that combination of this olive green color with the nude heel is fabulous. And I just love the fit of this romper. It is so beautifully made. The thing I always tend to struggle with, and I was nervous to try this one on, is when a romper really has no stretch at all. Um, I get nervous because I feel like it's either gonna be super tight in the short area, it's gonna be tight in the chest, it's gonna be tight somewhere. Um, but however, this one is just perfection. It fits so well everywhere. The shorts are nice and flowy, which I think with shorts, it's hard to find sometimes. When they are nice and flowy, it just makes you feel more comfortable, and I think it flatters a little bit more. The other thing I love is a cinched in waist. We know I love that, and I think it just added the perfect touch to this, because if it didn't, you might have lost a little bit of shape with this type of material. So I love that touch. It also just makes sure that the back has nice um, excess kind of flowy material happening, which is great. And then it is a button up at the front. So I'll just kind of pull the camera up. I just pulled the camera up a little bit so you can see the full detail of the top. It's a great, I don't know, is this like a safari vibe? Is it a military vibe? It's one of them and it's beautiful. Uh, so it's buttoned up from the midsection up and then it's got little pockets here uh, and then it's got these sleeves which of course you can leave long. I've chosen to roll them just because I think that it suits it a little bit more. It also has a great kind of structured collar at the top and I've chosen to pair a really pretty pair of like gold hoop earrings here at the top, which I just picked up from H&M. And I think that they kind of like finish off this whole look super well. I love this. I just think it's so pretty. And I was really excited to find a romper that actually fits so nicely, doesn't feel too tight or just kind of like ill-fitting. We have a total winner on our hands with this for sure. So this is a super cute outfit, A plus from me, but let's move on to the next one. So if you follow me over on Instagram, you are probably already familiar with this outfit. This dress, once again, is from 2020 Avenue Curve. My t-shirt is from Old Navy, and this is a very 90s moment, very like blossom TV show moment. The whole like t-shirt underneath a dress is so 90s, 
very vintage and I absolutely love it and I think I 100% rocked outfits like this growing up and as you can see in the first little segment I did pair this with a pair of little white tennis shoes they are actually from Target just from a little while ago if I can find them I will link them but they're very comfortable um, but I just love this whole outfit it's super cute and I thought it would be perfect to pair a white t-shirt under the, underneath this dress but you don't have to it is a great standalone dress on its own it is a navy and white floral print so I'll just come up a little bit closer so you can see and it's got spaghetti straps and honestly if I didn't have the t-shirt on underneath it it is still a beautiful dress it does have a really nice kind of flare out at the bottom it is mini I do hold a lot of my height in my legs so anything that is already mini is going to be extra mini on me but i think it is still adorable and this is super pretty so i thought this was a perfect little end of summer outfit or again if it's not as mini on you this is a really cute even like back to school outfit just a very different type of outfit with the t-shirt under the dress but something i wanted to try because it kind of pushed me outside of my comfort zone and surprisingly i love it so that is definitely a challenge if there's something that you're kind of thinking you want to try that's really trendy just try it you might love it and you never know until you try so this is super cute but let's move on to the next one I guess we have a little bit of a 90s theme happening with some of these outfits but I really love how this one turned out it has also been a minute since i've worn a little bit of a tighter mini skirt um it's just something i haven't been comfortable in in a while so i wanted to just challenge myself again to wear something outside of my comfort zone and i'm glad i did i really like the way that this came out and i think you could see from the um the, f the first segment i also had on another pair of black heels they are the same old navy ones that are the nude pair but in black and they are different they're a different strappy heel and they're a little bit lower than my other black ones so you know when you love something so much you have to get it in multiple colors but i'm glad i did because they're perfect for work as well but this outfit very very cute the skirt is from dynamite and so this skirt is in this like gingham kind of pattern i also think this is definitely a skirt that you can can transition from the warmer weather into the cooler months by pairing this with a really chunky either like black oversized sweater or white or if it's like Halloweeny, you could definitely wear a beautiful orange color to pair with this how cute would that be the material itself isn't very stretchy um, but I think it fits really well um, I love the whole vibe of this and again challenging myself wearing something that's a little bit more fitted the top I actually just picked up from a store called urban planet it's just a really nice kind of like white um, ribbed top but honestly this is totally a top you can find at forever 21 charlotte russe anything like that it's just a very easy kind of like white long sleeve to pair with this but i just wanted to give you the idea for the whole vibe of this outfit so super cute i love how this came out so let's move on to the next one Okay, so next up, I just wanted to pair something super casual. I think this is a really nice option. I found the pants at H&M. They are in this like kind of cool out style wide leg and they're very um, like light material. I'm not sure what to call these. Um, I'm also wearing them with those Old Navy black little strappy sandals and then I just paired them with that white Old Navy t-shirt. I just think it looks really nice pulled together. The pants are actually in a size 10 and I wasn't sure if they would fit a little bit too tight actually, but I think they fit nice and snug as a bug around the waist, which I really wanted because they are so flowy in the legs. So I wanted to have some definition here at the waist and then I thought just pairing it with a really plain and crisp white top would be a great option so i've gone ahead and just tucked it in and i think that it is a really pretty option and then i've gone ahead and just paired it with this simple white t-shirt from old navy and i think that it works really well together uh, but i also did want to give a little pop of color with my earrings so these ones i just found a little local store here called ardeen and i will link them down below if i can find them but i just think adding a little pop of color to something that which is a pretty plain outfit can 
and really change it and elevate the look so i think this is gorgeous and absolutely something that i could wear to work and still look super pulled together but also be extremely comfortable so we love this and it's also got pockets in the pants which such a bonus so anyways this is just another little casual option that i thought i would share with you so last but certainly not least we have this really beautiful classic black on black outfit that i put together and i love this it's very kind of sexy flirty perfect little date night or girls night option and i just love the way that this one turned out so still wearing the same black heels and i'm also wearing this skirt this black satin skirt is from dynamite it's in a size large and i just think that it is so beautiful it's an a-line style so you get that kind of like cinched in at the waist look and then it kind of like you know, eight lines out from there. And I just think that it's a gorgeous style and it's very flattering on my frame. I think that for me, this is one of my kind of like favorite styles of skirts. And it does have a little bit of an elasticated band here at the waist, um, but for me, it fits perfectly. And I paired it with this, um, this is a bodysuit. This is actually from Nordstrom and it's from a brand called Leith, Leith, Leith. Uh, it is a square neck bodysuit and it's got like um like a slinky kind of feel to it it's a little bit clingy for sure um it is a thong bodysuit and it does clasp at the bottom but i really love the square neckline to this i think that it's something that's a little bit different and i love the way that that looks and of course you could tuck this into high-waisted jeans you could like tuck it in how i have it here into a skirt however you want to wear something like this it's super versatile and i want to check out and see if they have any other prints or any other colors because i just think this is a beautiful cut and it fits really well so i'm wearing this in a size large i think i mentioned that but it's not too clingy anywhere it just fits perfectly and yeah and I just really like the way that this one looks, so I want to check if it has any other patterns. Um, the other thing is, is I again wanted to show a little bit of a pop of color. So we went ahead with this little turquoise pair of earrings. So they've got like a turquoise beaded look to them and their hoops. And I love them. I think that it looks really pretty paired together with a black ensemble. Again, I just think that a pop of color in an outfit, whether it comes from your shoes, your earrings, a necklace, or something like that, I think that it can be super fun and a great way to just kind of like make an outfit a little bit more exciting. So this is super cute, but it is my final outfit. So that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, as always though, I'm so curious which outfit was your favorite. Please leave it down in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and hear which outfit was your favorite. I will of course leave the links to every item as much as I can find down below for you as well as the sizes. And of course my measurements are down there as well. So if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out me and helps out my channel and I'd be super grateful and of course do remember to hit the red subscribe button down below before you leave today and I will also link my Instagram down below as well I'm at Olivia Frida Curves over there and I'd love to have you join me there too I really hope you guys enjoyed this type of format for video a couple of different brands thrown in and created a couple of different outfit ideas to share with you so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>